the dream of generations of aviation people. 20 years of unremitting pursuit. Finding a way out on the misty ridge. Test courage in crises. This is a milestone in China's aviation industry. It is also a monument to loyalty and responsibility. Third generation fighter is equipped with new stealth technology and avionic system and advanced armament, which is effective for land or sea combat. Well, the J-10C fighters have been involved in actual combat training and played a great role in maneuvers, the Red Sword 2016 J-10C is considered one of the best single-engine fighter jets ever made. How could China achieve this in a such short period of time? Let's look back history of 20 years how the J-10 had been developed. Today the 10th China International Aerospace Expo kicked off in Zhuhai. The Chinese Air Force's aerobatic team also sent a J-10 fighter jets by female pilots. They perform air ballet above the Zhuhai Sea. At this air show, the wonderful performance of the female pilots was particularly eye-catching, and the planes they fly are also stars in the air shows, the J-10 fighter jet. For this fighter jet, some foreign military publications once analyzed that its maneuverability completely surpassed the US-made F-16. This comparison may not be meaningful, but the technical indicators of J-10 can indeed rank among the world's tops. This is Chengdu Aircraft Design Institute, where the J-10 was born, 40 years ago, due to China's strategic layout. These researchers moved from the northeast to the southwest. Just before the relocation, the research personnel of the institute just participated in the design, trial production and first flight of the J-8 fighter jet. J-8 is a high-altitude high-speed fighter, mainly undertake air control and interception tasks. It is one of the main battle planes in the Chinese Air Force. It is one of the main battle planes of the Chinese Air Force. Jets development. In the sequence of fighter jets development, the J-8 belongs to the second generation fighter. At that time, around the world, the development of fighter jets has entered a brand new era. In mid of last century, through several regional wars, people discovered that the high altitude and high speed second generation fighters have limitations in actual combat, the flight range is narrow and the maneuverability is poor at medium and low altitudes. Weak ground attack capabilities, the United States and the Soviet Union have been engaged in military competitions in this area. The F-15 and Su-27 three-generation fighters were developed respectively, they are much superior to the second-generation fighters in terms of overall performance, especially mid- and low-altitude mobility and comprehensive combat capabilities. The second-generation fighter will be hardly seen while turning, then you can see it when it comes back, because it has a very large turning radius, look at the third-generation fighter flying in the sky, in a normal weather, it will be within your sight, so it is. Model J-9, later, this research institute moved to the southwest here, in the past, the education we received when we were young was. Chinese people are ambitious and capable, we must catch up with and exceed the world's advanced level in the near future, we do have a dream in our entire life, to contribute in China aviation industry. But in 1978, Song Wenchong and his colleagues were notified to stop the J-9 project, which had consumed their 14 years already. 
In the same year, China entered a new era of reform and opening up. After opening the country, people found that the level of equipment of our air force is very different from that of the world. Especially for the fighter jet, which we were way lagged behind over a generation. In later of 1970, U.S. started to develop fourth-generation fighters, that is later known as F-22, air power has increasingly become the main force in modern warfare, if China does not develop new fighter jets on its own. It will lose the initiative in wars in the future. In the winter of 1982, 52 years old of Song Wenchong suddenly received a call, told him that the central government has an order and will redevelop a new generation of fighters. Beijing will hold a planned demonstration meeting, ask them to send someone to attend the meeting. Song Wenchong was excited and felt that an opportunity had come. In fact, I had a hunch, I bring all the information and literature, the day before this meeting, the director of the Aircraft Bureau of the Ministry of Space asked us if we had a plan. If so, please tell them, he gave me 15 minutes, and I grabbed my the fighter jet model and then placed it in front of the projector. Wow, the image was projected on a wide screen, what a sensitive times, got a big applause from the audience. The reason why Song Wenchung's model shines is related to the unique aerodynamic layout, this layout is called duck layout, most airplanes we see are normal layouts, its flat tail is behind this wing. But the duck layout has a pair of small duck wings in front of the main wings, it looked like a duck when it took off, there is a little wing flapping in front, so we call it the duck layout. The key to achieving high maneuverability for the third generation aircraft mainly depends on optimizing aerodynamic layout, at that time, there were mainly two design schemes for the third generations of fighter in the world. Duck style and side strip have their own advantages and disadvantages, both have the third generation advantage, for example, in the United States, they made with side strips, what we do is duck style. Their common feature is that the vortex of the airflow rolled out from the side strip or duck wings is a stable and strong vortex. When the airflow passes through the top of duck wings it creates this kind of vortex in front. The vortex came close to the wing surface, and there was also a vortex on the leading edge of the main wing. When the two vortices are well coupled, the combined vortex is very strong, it's like a tornado, more lift is produced. More lift force is produced. Although there was some research on the duck layout when the J-9 was developed, it was still in the initial stage, this inevitably makes people suspicious, Song Wenchong was assigned to refine the design plan as soon as possible. Need another review, once the plan for the aircraft is drawn up, there is still more work to be done, I said give me one and a half years, but I only got one year, I said okay for one year, it was very difficult that year. The airflow dynamics layout should be refined, a lot of wind tunnel tests must be done, simulate the state of the aircraft in the air, this is an essential step in the development of aircraft. This is our model for high-speed wind tunnel tests, due to the high speed and pressure in the wind tunnel, this model should be made of metal, the shape of the model is made completely according to the real shape of the aircraft. The wind tunnel was high-end test equipment at the time, there is no wind tunnel in general research institutes, you can only go to the professional wind tunnels built deep in the mountains to do experiments during that time. While wind tunnel tests started, the technicians, plotters and groups leaders all went into battle, we don't have computer as today to collect data and processing them, we had to point by point using hand to write down and draw graphics.
There was no such thing that we got right at once, as long as there was a single curve is anomaly we stopped right away, and in Oh we often took our technicians go along with us to do the testing, all in real time to do all together, in one year, the team did near 10,000 wing tunnel tests, finally came up with the overall plan of J-10. So we often took our technicians go along with us to do the testing, all in real time to do all together, in one year, the team did near 10,000 wing tunnel tests, finally came up with the overall plan of J-10. It was highly recognized by experts at the review meeting, after many rounds of argumentation and modification, in 1986, the J-10 project was officially launched. As soon as they entered the refinement stage, they discovered that J-10 needed newly developed equipment. This project is far beyond the norm, because usually a new type of aircraft is developed. According to the rules, its new content cannot exceed 30%. In other words, 70% should be inherited from legacy. Our J-10 actually uses new products, new systems, and new technologies that exceed 60%. Many key new technologies were determined during the development. We counted there were hundreds of them, most of them are key technologies, among them most challenging is the digital technologies, the key difference between third generation and second generation fighters is that the mechanical operation method is no longer used. They are controlled by computers, this is a revolutionary leap, it is also the key to the performance improvement of the third generation fighter. In the 1980s, computer technology just began to enter China. Not to mention the experience, designers had to learn basic concepts from scratch, it's completely new, and we basically did not even know the concept very clearly, we were from the 1960s to the 1970s, and had been jumping into the 90s. This change was really too big, so we are on the same starting line as young people, our previous experience is not too much valuable on this new system, what you can do, learn by doing. The first problem that designers encounter was the design of the aircraft control system, this is a core technology in aircraft design, for aircraft control systems, safety and stability are the top priority. But the core of the third generation aircraft is that maneuverability and operability must be good, there is a big contradiction between the two, what is the concept of operability, if the steering of a bicycle is too lively, we call excessive operability. The bike will just throw you as soon as you turn it, if we have a very tight steering, you hardly can turn the bike, relatively stable but hard to make a turn, so the operability and stability are a pair of contradictions. In order to improve the maneuverability and operability of the fighter, we need to adopt a technique of relaxing static stability, that is to sacrifice some stability, relax the static stability of fighter jets. If there is a problem with the aircraft's control system, I don't think it is even possible for an emergent. Without mobility, there cannot be third generation fighters. But the safety of the aircraft is the primary indicator, how to coordinate between them is a headache problem. At this time, the researchers in charge of the overall plan put forward a bold idea. We no longer use the mechanical controls of the past, but instead are controlled by computers. This is called fly-by-wire flight control. In the past, the rudder and wing surfaces of our aircraft were controlled by the pilot's control stick and pedals. They are mechanically connected to drive in the past. For the fly-by-wire operation this is unnecessary, as its displacement covets an electrical signal which is transmitted through the cable. The fly-by-wire control brought a revolutionary change for the control of the aircraft. The deflection of the rudder surface that changes the action of the aircraft is no longer directly controlled by the pilot, it is achieved through complex calculations of compute. 
However, this adds too much uncertainty. China has no previous experience. Choosing this option means a huge risk. At the beginning, the leaders of the institute did not agree to adopt this plan. Then I went to Mr. Song, I know he is willing to accept new things. Sure enough, after I reported to him, he agreed, we can't repeat others walking step by step, ours shall be better and more advanced. This is innovation, I think you must have this determination and dream. Simply put, the fly-by-wire flight control system must analyze and sort all possible flight conditions in advance, and give a solution. The computer makes the judgment and emergency handling in complex situations, all shall be done by computer. However, the flight attitude of fighter jets in the air is very complicated, and there are countless situations that may be encountered. To ensure the safety of the aircraft, all circumstances must be considered as much as possible. In fact, the problem we focused is malfunction. What should I do if there is a problem with the signal? As long as you can think of it, and as long as you think it is possible, you have to consider and deal with it. In other words, all routes must be set in advance, according to design requirements, only failures with the probability of 10-7th power occurring within one hour of flight can be ignored, availability must be 7 nines. That is 99.99999%. .99 as long as you can think of everything else may happen, you must design an emergency plan for and store in the computer. This is an extremely complicated and arduous task. Ask people to be meticulous and patient to work on. After the design is completed, in order to eliminate possible safety hazards, test pilots are required to evaluate and experience on the simulator. At least two pilots fly the same subjects we study. As long as one pilot has a different opinion, the third pilot will fly again. If the third or fourth pilot still has the different opinion, we must also fully analyze that pilot's opinion, our designers are just great, they will immediately change and implement according to analysis results from the comment or opinion of the pilot. They don't miss any suspicious points. During the development of the J-10, serious accidents involving fly-by-wire fighter aircraft from abroad continued to spread, even the plane crashed and pilot died. This made the J-10 flight control system design team more nervous, they are all working overtime. Like the fly-by-wire flight control system, Zheng Qinglin, who is in charge of the aircraft's avionics system, also encountered computer technology challenge. The avionics system is known as the nervous system of the aircraft through which pilot controls the aircraft to perform various combat tasks. The avionics system of the second-generation aircraft is relatively simple. Each device forms its own system, but the mission of the third-generation aircraft is very complicated, and the previous legacy technology is completely inapplicable. It has to hang dozens of weapons against air, ground, long-range, short-range, and aim at various moving and non-moving targets. The second-generation aircraft is not convenient, not possible, we need to build a network system. Start with the preparation of a brand new computer language. The avionics system designers moved forward little by little, from navigation to communication to the operation of dozens of weapons must be programmed into software. It took more than 10 years to complete the full upgrade of avionics. Every document is hundreds or thousands of pages, this workload is very large and very stressful, we work overtime every day. The front windshield glass of the cockpit, professionally called transparent parts, is not the focus of the research. Unexpectedly, its optical distortion will become an annoying problem. The third-generation fighter is an integral seamless windshield. 
a hatch like a bubble, but its technology is completely different from the second generation aircraft the average company would not be able to make. The front windshield of the second generation aircraft is flat. The third generation aircraft is a curved windshield, therefore, the problem of optical distortion must be overcome. Deformation of the front field of view is very unfavorable for pilots in combat and flight. The unit responsible for the development of transparent parts was not successful. Wu Zuren from the Institute of Aeronautical Materials came to help and urgently discuss material issues, because time is too tight, it seems that can only rely on import. This fighter is almost all domestically made, now said the windshield needs to be imported, this is too shamed. The Institute of Aeronautical Materials must take over this problem from the chief division officer in fact, they had done a thorough understanding of bubble-shaped transparent parts a year ago. After got back to Beijing they worked out a new plan to encounter this problem, we need to shape it, this thermoforming process is also a high-tech, after forming, coating, assembling, connecting and then a set of comprehensive tests are required. This is a combined effort of multiple sciences and technologies, the institute gave the greatest support to the research team, they needed a key piece of equipment but it exceeded the budget. Two thousand employees contributed their one-year bonus, at that time, this equipment costed 2.3 million, each employee was willing to contribute 8,000 yuan, military projects have a heavy responsibility. Dare to accept, it requires not only courage and responsibility but also strength. The Institute of Aeronautical Materials solved the problem of non-distortion transparency at the last moment, everyone is relieved afterwards. There are many people who are worried, Zhang Lishan, who participated in structural strength design, had just graduated from university and came to the design office, learned third generation aircraft for the first time. He found that the long life requirements, high mobility and overload of the third generation needed those of the second generation aircraft, what is overload? If you ride the car over the mountain, you must feel several times your weight pressed against the chair, when the pilot is maneuvering in the sky, this multiple is a few times more than the multiple of a mountain crossing car. The aircraft will be subject to a large overload, the third generation aircraft have requirements for large overload and long life, if the fatigue strength design of the aircraft is unreasonable, it is easy to cause early fatigue cracking of the structure. For minor cases, return to the factory for repair, for major cases, could result in accidents, in general, increasing weight of material will increase the strength, but for high performance fighter jet, this is not a way to go. For airplanes, it is needed to emphasize light body, but lightness and structural strength are a contradiction, there are contradictions and trade-offs everywhere in aircraft design. In order to calculate the stress state of each part of the whole plane structure, the researchers develop their own software, divide the whole plane structure into many small units, calculate the stress of each element. This is the first large-scale use of computer-aided structural analysis systems in aircraft design in China. At that time, we had only single low-power computer and need to keep on adding memory as needed. If need more speed, we need to add more CPU boards, in the end every computer we used was dead. When the research object is changed from the second generation plane to the third generation plane, the material becomes an especially challenging problem, in the hundreds materials used in the plane, the materials used for engine is particularly important. Wu Zuren, who studied abroad at the time, still remember a picture, I was in an engine company at the time, and when they communicated with me, they came up with a PPT picture. It is written that the contribution rate of materials to high-performance engines in the 21st century is 78%.
high strength, corrosion resistant, and long life superalloys account for a large proportion of the third generation fighter aircraft engines. The third generation fighters carry a large amount of equipment, and the extraordinary overloads they endure during tactical actions require light and strong materials for the fuselage and wings. This in itself is a contradiction, not to mention corrosion resistance, long life, and damage resistance, materials must go first, they are basic raw materials, without them, how to make parts. Nothing can be said about the rest if we don't know what materials will be used. The airplanes that go back to the early days of human aviation as people pursued airplanes to be stronger, more reliable, and fly farther and faster, light metal materials such as aluminum alloys gradually replaced weak wood during World War II. In order to enhance the electronic equipment of the fighter planes and mount weapons, lots of effort put on how to reduce the fighter's weight and to develop new light and strong materials. Composite material is a man-made non-metallic material, lighter than metal materials. Chinese military industry is no stranger to composite materials. It has also been tried on the previous domestic second-generation fighters. But at that time the entire country's industrial sector has not been able to produce composite materials suitable for the third-generation fighters. From the advanced nature of the material, its performance level, whether it is its strength, durability, fatigue resistance, lifespan, corrosion resistance, etc., the gap is huge. The requirements for materials of the third generation fighters are very high, it can be said that if the material problem is not solved, the third generation fighter cannot be designed or built. When the wing is called a wing-body fusion, composite materials are used, it is a big challenge that the bonding strength of every part can meet without defects, composite materials are woven or combined with materials with different properties. It is finally made by combining the strengths of different materials according to the design of material scientists, man-made materials to meet special needs. The composite material used in the manufacture of J-10 is made by bonding artificial substances layer by layer and hot pressing into a hole. Success or failure depends on craftsmanship. At that time, the Aeronautical Materials Institute was the lead unit of materials and led more than 100 companies across the country to tackle key problems. At the time, I was in the Craftsmanship Institute, and from the craftsmanship processing perspective, I took the lead in completing the technological engineering process. The fraction HUD can reflect the magic of high technology, it can display the data and images of the instrument on the front windshield and helmet eyepiece, the pilot can see all kinds of data without looking down. Although this technology has been used in some high-end cars, the diffraction head-up display of the third-generation fighter aircraft requires a large amount of display data and a wide field of view. It has high clarity regardless of day and night, forward light or backlight, it mainly solves the problems of low-altitude navigation flight and aiming attack at night, is to significantly improve ergonomics. The development of the diffraction head-up display is extremely difficult, Gu Gang's team groped in the dark, it wasn't until 1995 that he won the surprise, but after the breakthrough in 1995, no aircraft could be used. Until 2000, this can be equipped on the J-11B and J-10, but it was optional at that time, because they thought this still imposes uncertainty there are technical risks and technical difficulties. 
It might not have been installed for the first time in China, but after all, it still gave us a very rare opportunity to develop this to use on the key models of fighter jets. Gu Gang took over this project from the older generation of researchers in 1983, by 2000 both J-10 and J-12B were ready, he had been working on this for 18 years. If you are sure of this good thing, you have to work hard, otherwise the team may disband, it may not be delayed for three to five years, it may be missed forever. We must take this opportunity to form the domestic power, avionics system, flight control system, and weapon system of this aircraft as soon as possible. This is a focus of our research, and our airborne mission system, we must have our own weapons, our own weapons must be integrated into this system. During the research and development process, the military workers constantly renewed its soul and blood, enriched bones and muscles, similar to the fate of the diffraction HUD, there is the J-10J-11B domestic engine. This aircraft be equipped with our engine, he advocated that domestically made aircraft shall use our own engine, at that time, there were many challenge issues on domestic engine. Flight testing on the single-engine plane is risky, the suggestion was to put the domestic engine on twin-engine Su-27 to test, we all cherish this opportunity, Taihang engine finally got a chance to grow. However, the road to growth is long and tortuous, we once had a large blade break, which is equivalent to nearly 30 tons of force hitting the receiver, it could break through the receiver and damage the oil hoses or even could damage other equipment. A small turbine blade failure may cause an accident, it took another year to discover the cause of the problem, they overcome the difficulty of blade fracture, in those years, engineers solved five to six hundred challenge problems. I think the development process of the engine is a process of fighting failures, engines are becoming more and more mature, while engineers have withstood the challenges and grew. After nearly 20 years of hard work, the development of the Taihang engine finally surpassed the most difficult stage and saw the light at the end of the tunnel. In the experience, there are also engine manufacturers that gradually matured. Li Zhichang was retired from the army in 1983 and came to the Liming Engine Manufacturing Company. His contribution is to greatly shorten the production cycle of the engine. Engine work is like brain surgery, you just cannot change surgery doctor. We have developed a shift operation guidance process. When needed, we can operate 24 hours a day also, training a good engine assembler is no less than training a pilot. There is also a crucial hydraulic system in aircraft design, it is like the blood circulation system of an airplane transmits energy and power through it. The hydraulic system of the third-generation fighter is much more complicated than that of the second-generation fighter. There are thousands of test points, at that time, computer simulation technology was not yet developed. So we built a physical model, according to the geometric layout of the aircraft, it is simulated completely one-to-one, -one. as long as there is an oil leak, the entire system will fail. There cannot be careless, at that time we didn't have weekends, we were all here working every day, constantly revising, constantly approaching, no part of the design is done all at once, we did over and over until is right. The design of each system of J-10 has gone through countless iterations, there are probably over 10,000 or 20,000 people work day and night on J-10 project. 
In the eyes of many people, innovation is an activity full of creativity and fun, but for the developers of J10, it is boring work year after year and day after day. They gritted their teeth and did not give up, I am happy to finish today, but I am worried again tomorrow, but at that time, everyone had a high spirit and didn't feel tired, because when people are really excited, they don't feel tired. It feels like a state of real passion burning. The design work of J-10 in the 1990s finally came to an end, various airborne equipment have also been completed, it's the aircraft factory's turn to be busy. Shiyue Chizawa graduated from Northwestern Polytechnical University, entered the Chengdu aircraft manufacturing plant in 1961, after the overall trial production task of the J-10 aircraft was handed over to him, he was appointed as the deputy commander-in-chief of T. At that time, I followed the plane in the shop every day and had very little rest, I didn't rest until 1 or 2 in the evening, sometimes I don't go home until 5 o'clock, then return to the factory 3 hours later. The whole factory is like a battlefield, people from all departments are mobilized, because they are facing an aircraft like never before. A large number of integral structural parts appeared in the J-10 design, the shape is complex and the precision requirements are very high, with previous machine tools and the milling machine they just could not do the jobs. They had to use digital processing machine tools, Gian Yingjiang is responsible for the technical research of this project, at this time, in the National 863 program, there was a subject of computer integrated manufacturing. She asked the group of experts to join and then started from the most basic program design. They were designing and experimenting while manufacturing, doing all at same time to make digital tooling machines. Among the structural parts of J-10, there is an integral frame that is particularly complicated, which was later known as the first frame in Asia. For this, people spent several months programming in order to make this one, at a time when ready to go, the Machin. At a time when ready to go, the machinist could not dare to press the start button. He was so afraid, yes, everyone was under great pressure at that time, finally, Asia's number one frame was successfully processed in one go, other integral structural parts have also passed the quality inspection. This is a pioneer in the history of Chinese aviation, however, Gian Yingjiang also felt a little afraid afterwards, because her development process is against the norm and rules. An old expert told me, you are so bold, you are developing and applying same time, you are not afraid of failure, I said I had no other way, I was forced, I do not have time, I can only succeed but not fail. We have no day and night, no weekends, no holidays, all of us are in the computer room and shops. The design that crosses the age brings many unexpected difficulties to the craft, in the production of aircraft skins, the wings and the fuselage are required to be a whole, but it is not regular but curved, so-called S-type skin. They must have new professional equipment with a pulling force of more than 1,000 tons, but at that time they only had old machine tools that produced second-generation aircraft. Then we figured out how to make an upper-pressure device on it, we used a lot of small jacks, it took them two years to finish, such process difficulties almost spread over the entire manufacturing process of J-10. Even small connectors and pipelines may have to be set up to develop research teams to encounter the challenges, not to mention the important parts of the aircraft. 
finally, all the difficulties are past, and it is about to enter a stage of the whole plane assembly, but in the important portion of the plane, the landing gear encountered a problem now. The landing gear has to bear a huge impact, the instantaneous maximum force is dozens of times the weight of the aircraft, it has the same lifespan as an airplane. According to the design, it is an integral structure, the traditional welding process simply cannot be achieved. Because the process is too difficult, they have considered cooperating with foreign companies, they had several negotiations but all ended with failure, at this time, the final assembly task was very urgent and only less than half a year left. The production cycle of traditional landing gear generally takes more than half a year, not to mention the new landing gear, there are still more than 10 key research projects to start from scratch in this landing gear. In an emergency, Zhang Lin and his team from the hydraulic shop offered to undertake this task, they worked day and night, overcame countless difficulties and finally finished on time, the J-10 landing gear has become a legend. In fact, in the manufacturing process of J-10, there are more trivial things than the legend, J-10 is the first time we started to use the integral fuel tank, the internal pipeline is very complicated, sampling and installation can only be done by people who had to climb inside. Because the space is small, it's easier for me to climb into the fuel tank, so I take on this job, sometimes I have to climb inside dozens of times just for single fuel line, I did day and night. A week later my soles were all worn out, my thumbs are all outside the glove, I grew up in the countryside, after coming here, I saw the plane very interesting, I love my job and decided to work hard. Our workers are so wonderful, don't care about these, they worked hard and worked overtime all the time. By 1997, the first J-10 aircraft was finally assembled, Lu Huiqing, then vice chairman of the Central Military Commission, came to the scene in person, participate in the first flight ceremony. He and I pulled the plane symbolically, while pulling, he was saying, great great, I turned to look at him, his eyes full of tears. Everyone is looking forward to the first flight, the time is set for March 12, 1998, in the afternoon just before the first flight day, a routine inspection of the aircraft was required. Then report to Commander Lu Gaojo needs to sign and release, it's almost 8 o'clock, why haven't you come to tell me, before long, the on-site commander reported that the engineers had discovered three drops of oil while inspecting the engine. At this time all preparations have been completed, related personnel and leaders will arrive from Beijing the next day, to fly or not to fly. At that time, what I thought was we got to think the quality first, not afraid of 10,000, but cannot afford one out of 10,000 chance being failed, everyone asked me what to do. I said to notify Beijing to cancel the test flight tomorrow. Then you must drag the rear fuselage of the airplane to take out the engine, disassembled, try to see if there is any oil leak, after dismantling it four times, they finally found the cause of the three drops of oil.
Several process holes on the engine are not blocked, it has no major impact on flying, all checked and good to go, the date of the first flight is confirmed again, the test pilot in charge of the first flight is Lei Zhang. Finally looking forward to the first flight, when the staff from the chief division office handed the first flight release form to me and asked me to sign on behalf of the chief technologist, my hands were shaking. This is the first flight to rewrite China's aviation history, its success not only determines the fate of J-10, but also a symbol of whether China's aviation industry can cross the era, the time for departure has finally arrived. Carrying the dreams of generations of devoting people on China aviation and the expectations of tens of thousands of people, Lei Qiang's heart beat faster and faster, he insisted not to let the doctor take his blood pressure. Fear his blood pressure is too high to allow to fly, I was very nervous, I didn't dare to watch it before leaving the ground, the moment it lifted the front wheel, then lifted it up, left the ground, wow, it flew up, at this time, I didn't feel nervous. All people there cheered, the state is very stable and very good, however, the success of the first flight is actually just the beginning of another difficult journey. The development and flight testing of aircraft is an essential stage, no matter how detailed the ground test is, it can only partially simulate the condition in the air, therefore, flight testing is a process of constantly discovering problems. According to international practice, flight testing takes up half of the entire development process, but the J-10 flight test cycle is not so long, this gap is made up by people extending their working hours. In that four years of flight testing, I sent out the notices for total vacation days were only about 17 days. I still did not grant to some ones although Dean Joe approved 17 days but quite a few people don't have these 17 days, if test pilot could fly, they would not be willing to take a rest that day. For the flight test engineer, the most worrying thing is the safety during the flight test, due to the good maneuverability of the third generation aircraft, the stability is slightly worse, in the past, accidents abound in test flights in developed countries. Almost no country in the testing third generation aircraft in has not experienced the tragedy of a crash, during the flight test years, there were not many cases where there was no crash. The Swedish Jazz 39 crashed twice, the F-22 crashed too, the Su-27 also crashed during testing years, some were the first-class accidents. Some were the second-class accidents, in fact, during the test flight of the J-10, they encountered similar dangers happened to those previously third-generation fighters. In a flight testing, the plane suddenly encountered a crosswind and swayed violently from side to side as approach landing, this situation has led to the tragedy of plane crashes many times abroad. At the critical moment, test pilot Kian Zulin calmly pulled up the plane again for a go-around and finally landed safely, a major accident was avoided. At the critical moment, test pilot Gian Shulin calmly pulled up the plane again for a go-around and finally landed safely, a major accident was avoided. How much time did he spend? Less than six seconds. In addition to unexpected dangers, test pilots also have to fly with various operations that to test the boundaries for fighter jets, including flight altitude, speed, overload, angle of attack, and so on. Many are at almost extreme limits.
The famous test pilot Li Junghua once performed a thrilling action diving from an altitude of 10,000 meters to 1,000 meters. This is definitely an action that I didn't even dare to think of in the past. In 2009, the F-22 dove with the same action at a lower altitude than us, and the dive speed was lower than ours, only more than 2,000 meters, and finally the aircraft did not pull up. Pilot parachuted, but the parachute did not open, that was a first-class accident. During the flight test, the ground crew may be the most unnoticed group of people, they wipe and check the plane every day, make preparations before the test flight, and check after the test flight. They have neither the joy of flying nor the sense of accomplishment in overcoming technological difficulty. Many hidden dangers were avoided because of the timely detection by the maintenance personnel and other ground crew members. Especially when a flight failure occurs, the flight crew must discover the fault as soon as possible, regardless of how hot or how cold of that day. Once there was a system failure, our crew worked from morning to night and did not find the cause of the problem. He also felt a sense of self-blame, it's so cold, he hasn't eaten dinner yet. It's just that he worked so hard, it seems both proud and shame feels energized him. I don't think there are any vigorous deeds, what he should do, this is his duty, they use their actual actions to interpret what is meaning of responsibility. In the course of several years of test flights, more than 1,000 details, large and small, need to be improved, but there has not been a serious accident. It's not just first-class accidents, second-class accidents, but third-class accidents have never occurred during those testing years. What is a third-class accident? If the aircraft is damaged during test flight, it must be returned to the factory for repair immediately. We have nothing like this, this can be said to be a miracle in the history of world aviation, and this miracle was created by thousands of dedicated people. In 2003, the J-10 was commissioned to PLA Air Force Service. Eighteen years have passed since the establishment of the project, Yan Xiang, the former director of the J-10 project office, said, his 18-year-old son finally joined the army today, the wealth that J-10 leaves to people is far more than a cross-age fighter jet. The wealth that J-10 leaves to people is far more than a cross-age fighter jet, it is a milestone in China's aviation industry. For many researchers who have participated in this project, J-10 is the deepest memory in their lives. It is also the most sincere and passionate emotion to them, overcoming all kinds of difficulties and working selflessly means wholeheartedly to make this airplane great. I am very satisfied with this opportunity to do what I want to do, I like this line, I really like it, I like J-10 just like my own child, with this J-10 basis, you will find it very good to develop other models, in this regard, I feel that this is a reliance. From the beginning of the demonstration in 1984 to the finalization in 2004, 20 years have passed, tens of thousands of people have dedicated their youth and passion to J-10, and dedicated to the dream of serving the country by aviation. Many scientific researchers who have made great contributions have now passed away, some of them did not even wait until the day of the first flight. The vast majority of people are unknown heroes, worked in obscurity, in the 20-year history, a considerable number of people did not see the results, it was as if a relay race led everyone to the last bat. You can see the flowers and you can see the honor, but I think the people in front are greater.
Since 2004, variations of J10 had been developed. The latest J10C equipped with more advanced vector thrust engine was commissioned to China Air Force in 2018 which also equipped with most modern weapon systems, most advanced radar, and some latest stealth technologies. <laughs>